Now when selecting plants for your aquarium, it's really important to have a good range of foreground plants, which are the low species like that, and then bunch plants, which are gonna take up the back of the aquarium. Now when you're introducing new plants to the aquarium, it's good to start off with the fast growing plants. So things like your wisteria and your um, ambulia. Now I'd stay away from plants such as aluminium and, and purple waffle. Now these plants are really just good for people with goldfish or fish that are very rough on their plants. So they'll tend to get these subaquatic plants knowing that they won't last forever, but at least they won't get eaten straight away. Um, Val is quite a good plant that will tolerate all different sorts of temperatures. Then sword plant, that's a sword plant. Sword plant is a good hardy species. Um, there are various crypts and anubias which make nice foreground plants as well. So when you're planting the plants, I would have predominantly a large amount of foreground a large amount of foreground will really open the aquarium up and then I would have towards the back mate very much left and right my taller bunch plants so you can buy full aquatic plants you can buy sub aquatic plants and now what's getting very popular as well is what's called tissue culture plants and tissue culture plants are wonderful because you can get a good array of species and they come in a little hanging cell like that. So some of the tissue culture plants we get, um, other species of sword, and then when that goes out and you plant the plant using um, plant pincers, you really can't plant these sorts of plants without some sort of tweezers. Otherwise, they will, um, you just won't be able to root them properly. So, you can get Anubiuses, Anubius nana, that's a nice short growing foreground plant. Um, you can get various species of crypts. And also when selecting plants for your aquarium, it's good to start off with quite a diverse range of plants because they're Choosing plants for your aquarium is a little bit like choosing plants for your garden. It is very much the case that in your garden you might go and buy a selection of plants from the nursery and they really don't work in your garden. Whereas your friend might go and buy the same selection of plants from the nursery and find that very different plants are very successful. So when you're first starting out, trying to get a range of fast growing plants is a good idea. To suck up the nutrients such as these sorts of bunch plants and then to get a wide array of foreground plants so you can really see which are the ones that are going to be happiest in your environment once the plants are in and they and they're growing your it, your plan then is to really watch them watch the color of them know what they're supposed to look like and if over time the leaf is getting too yellow for example you might decide to increase the amount of iron you've got um, if you find it's getting swamped with something like Blackbeard, then you might decide to increase the CO2 with something like dissolved organic carbon. And it's really a matter of watching your plants and regularly send me a video of the aquarium running so I can look over the video and send me your test results so I can help advise you on um, sort of one step at a time that you can change to make sure that you're happy with the plant growth that you're actually getting.